Today's passage finds us in Psalms 83 through 87. We see the contrast of two very significant themes, deliverance and sanctification. Psalm 84 gives reference to God's peace and deliverance from restlessness. But the psalmist makes reference to the sparrow and the swallow in verse 3. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself and for her young. In this context, the birds are actually symbolic in the Hebrew tradition. The sparrow is symbolic of that which is insignificant, and the swallow is a representative of one who is restless or never satisfied. The language of Psalm 84 is about proclaiming that God is a refuge of peace and comfort. Even the restless at heart can find rest in God's provision. How many of us today need the reminder that even at our most restless moments, God is enough? The presence of God means peace for the weary. In verse 10, it reads, Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. And the next verse goes like this, For the Lord is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. The psalmist is actually painting a descriptive picture of the grace and the provision of God. But in Psalm 86, we see the other theme, that of sanctification through God's instruction. We see David crying out to God for guidance. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. See, David realizes that it would not benefit him for God to save him from his enemies, but abandon him to his own waywardness. And what a perspective to have. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. The lesson from this passage is twofold. That when we are restless in spirit or feel insignificant, we can fully rely on God's peace and deliverance. But also that peace and provision without guidance and sanctification is actually useless. So let us be like David in asking God to give us an undivided heart so we can rely on his faithfulness.